to have a discussion on who the greater pop icon is, Lady Gaga versus Taylor Swift. The definition of android is very human-like robot. At least appearance and movement and, and, and the talks, they should be human-like. The robot is you know, just a combination of a sensor and actuator and the computers. we have is a lot of propositions in my head, in our heads, and we are constructing our arguments based on that knowledge that we have about the certain topics. What you're seeing here is that they are actually trying to say what would support their claims based on the knowledge that they have. Ramen is eaten more frequently by Japanese people based on affordability rather than preference. People can get cheap sushi, so price is not a sufficient explanation for eating ramen more often. Our systems are not very well scripted. They have some propositions, they have premises for conclusions. They are going to learn how to convince other people in a way that is convenient for them to do based on their interactions. Do they have feelings? Well, I think it depends on your observation. Feeling may be a kind of a subjective phenomenon. So if we look at the Android face, then we can read the emotions, right? So we can guess that the you know, Android is feeling something. If we consider the more natural interaction with people, I think uh, we should use a more human-like robot. We're going to look at the difference between humans and robots. 